morning. Ooh, ah, I'm tired. Um, first of September's got here. Uh, finally, that means we can go hedge cutting now. I don't think we'll be getting hedge cutting today, but um, it is open season for it. I went out for um, a meal last night with a wife and kids, which was nice. Um, and yeah, now back to work for a busy day on the farm. Check it out. First things first, I've jumped in the Scania to get this backed up. My dad's going to take some cows in. Steve's here in the big case. Come for a muck spreader. And my dad's going. Yes. Morning, Em! Hello. You alright? Yeah, yeah. First September today, you know. Well, is it like autumn? I think it is, yeah. Is it? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it the start of autumn, first September? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, first, or 21st. Oh, 21st? Yeah, like, like summer looks like 21st of July, doesn't it? Does it not? Wealth of knowledge is old Em, isn't you? Hey? Wealth of knowledge. While I'm here, yeah. check out what I'm wearing. Do you recognise this? Ooh, Olive Works' new t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. Get it at agricontract.com. Plug for Ollie there. <laughs> I'm back at it. Look at those blue skies. It looks lovely here in South Yorkshire. Strawing up every day. Cows down, even on Christmas Day. So, just keeps busy, doesn't it? <laughs> t-shirt! Recording it, but look, Em's been doing a mix. I think she'll be coming to help me now. Uh, just straw up some of the pens. Got the baler to empty a little bit later. Get that dropped off. Done for the season, hopefully. <laughs> Got a message this morning, Em. Somebody's found my dad's stick at Melton Mowbray Market. How happy is he going to be? I don't think he'll be that happy, but like he's been so unhappy with me, like recently, that you know maybe this will just solve the problem. Oh Ash here now. <laughs> is this Ollie? What? Is this Ollie? <laughs> T-shirt. T-shirt. Hey, my dad's going to be happy. Right. Somebody's found his stick. Where? Yeah, Found Melton there. Mowbray. Oh. So, yeah, okay. we'll have to have a drive down today. Get it. <laughs> no, I think we'll just go when it's next market time. Yeah, I know. Why weren't it feeding through? There's a, I wonder if shear bolt's gone. So the shear bolt's gone. If you can hear the fans spinning round in the back, but... The beaters are out uh, moving. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's a bit too hard packed in this straw or something. I'm not sure. Because uh, it's, it's done half a bale. It's done it like midway through. So this is what drives power to the beaters. That's one of the beaters. That's another one of the beaters. That's where the power comes from. And that there is the shear bolt. So that attaches on and that's gone. But I tell you what, Ash, it looks like we're going to need grips, doesn't it, to get that out? Alright. It gets even better. Like, the bolts bent into this, so... I have to, uh, Ash suggests cutting it off and we'll get it vice and see what we can do. Tap it out, maybe, I don't know. Well, we did have to, um, cut it off with grinder. We should be alright now, hopefully. Well, we can get it lined up alright. Business. Yeah, I think it could have been loose a bit. Ash, it's made a bit of a mess in here. Look at that. It's not supposed to be like that. Because that'll have been... I bet that's supposed to push into that hole, isn't it, so far? Well, that'll go all the way through, won't it? M's on the TM now, feeding round. Ah, oh, and I've got my cabs... Uh, person. <laughs> <Gary>. <laughs> It's coffee time and cleaning time. Have fun there, Em. Good. It's finished. Now we've got to go and get some cows out. So, um, we shut the gates. Got some effers in now. It's a big one, this, isn't it, Em? What do you weigh? 742. Mm -hmm. Too heavy. 
It's to be there on the horizon, on the crawler tractor. He's wrong, we said he could see me. He can't see me. And there he goes in the beast. Oh, he's gone. Just finished our dinner now. Um, I'm gonna empty the bale out of the bale. Of course. We've got the bale of linseed left in there. Need to get that out, then get the part bale that'll be left in the centre. We'll have to pull that out by hand, but anyway, job's done and it'll be loads of fun. <laughs> going to shift this bale out with it then M's got the strap around the, the bands of the bale that's in the chamber and we'll pull that out you up? not on top front so now I've got it on we're just going to cross our fingers that the bands don't snap and that we can get this out of here well looks like it's coming with us it's always a good sign. Oh, we didn't even have to pull any out of the baler. That's business, though. As you can see, it's not a very compacted bale. Just because we didn't trip tri the notters until uh, until I realised. So I'm just going to pull it in here and then we'll tip it in uh, in the chopper with the bucket. I think. Got A.W. Jenkinson's here, just uh, weighing off a load. No forklift on back and everything. That beast. Nice. Though it's all folded up, blown down and packed away. Um, I don't think we are gonna wash it to be honest. I'll just get it backed into the uh, into the shed now and dropped off. My dad's just taking the second load of cattle. I think Ash has gone with him for the ride. There they go. Needs to pump his suspension up, but they help. Oh, I'm just getting some hay in. Um, but I've just noticed how this machine's been dropped off as I was driving past. I thought that don't look right. So this is a stand, a jack, right? To stop it from coming over backwards. Now, if that was to come over backwards and the floor was to hit there, it's not gonna work as a jack. It's just gonna go up. I need to pull that pin. Out. And he's putting it on the other side. Like so. Then, if it did come over backwards, it's not gonna roll. It's not gonna roll all the way back. So I'm glad I spotted that. Things like that and like sprayers. And they're easy. That when you're just picking them up with the arms, the weight transfers to the back, and you can just flick, flick over, and then you cause them damage. So yeah, I'm glad I spotted it. Glad. Anyway, on to the next thing. Taking some hay for the cows. Em's having a go at changing the PTO shaft. I don't know if anybody can feel the pain. Can I have the other part? Can you stop Oh my god. I might just try, try, just wet me up in a minute, Em, when you've done it, eh? <laughs> you know, I'm not making you look like anything. You know what, I can do this. All right. I wasn't filming you the five minutes before. <laughs> Sorted it. Um, M's gone to tip the mix off. Um, yeah, so we're just going to start feeding up now, I think. Get that jumped up. There it is, just tipping it off. And then what we're going to do with the 6 9 we're going to drop it off the mixer and put the sprayer on. That's the plan. Blowing this out. I've just had a... Uh, that's a bit weird how that goes in, isn't it? Yeah, What, there's a gap between them? Yeah. You see this? Think it's on a, think it's on a ramp. What? Well, it's on a ramp, doesn't it? Sweet. 
Yeah. Shows how much I've took this to pieces and blown it out, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've just called um, Jonathan, who found my stick, him and Merv, so they're going to, um, I think my dad's going to pick it up next time he goes down to Melton Mowbray. Um, I'm going to get them guys a few beers as well, because, uh, yeah, we'll amend my dad. I'm marginally happier, I think. Thank you very much, Stuart, uh, Jonathan, and Merv, for sorting that job out. And hand with this. Can get the words out. Just putting the pipes on, and we're gonna go and feed some cows. Feeding the cows. Feeding the cows. On it. Em's put the big 210 on the mixer. She's getting reversed back into the shed. I think she's getting better at reversing. been filling things up with diesel the 210 all that power on the mixer not needed but um cost ben's still got the 7530 um we're just having to use it a bit more add blue time now only a little bit, only a little bit. right now it is time for mixer mention and it was for yesterday rebecca emerson's 15th birthday business and Parker Jack Allen's first birthday also business but it's time for him to take over the pen hey that, that rhymes doesn't it hey, that could be like the pitch line time for him to take over the pen cool I know, I'm like a rapper um <laughs> em's gonna draw us a a picture right now and then we've got to all work out what it is business here we go Well, can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why can't it's like a sketch? <laughs> Nothing's a fluid movement, it's just all a sketch drawing. This is fantastic, this, Em. Yeah. yeah. Are you proud of this? Yeah, I am, actually. Yeah? I might be the wrong person, huh? Alright. So, what do people think it is? <laughs> it's just a piece of art this time, isn't it? it we're, we're, is. we're gonna have to take this, we're just gonna have to rip this um, magnetic thing off and frame it. frame it. I just can't wipe this away. Oh, that's it, the, the finishing touches there. There you go. Fantastic. Happy with that? <laughs> so what, what do people think it is? And if people think it's a certain thing, let's get specific and go for like brands. Yeah? Because it was branded, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I thought about it. No, no, it sort of gives it away, doesn't it, if you do that. So, yeah. It's what? business right on that bombshell with the flashing beacons um we're gonna probably end today's video i shan't come back yet with my dad so i don't know what they're playing at um everyone's gonna be happy because my dad's got his gonna get his stick and yeah hopefully if everyone's liked the video they'll press the like button somewhere down here i don't know where it is and then subscribed if uh, if if you haven't subscribed already you know what we're nearly at a milestone again Unlucky for some. It's an unlucky number. What's an unlucky number? Three. What? Three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen thousand. Um. What? Subscribers. Oh, about mentioned. Oh no. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Them two have just put like twelve thousand nine hundred in or something. That'd be nice. 
Hmm. Anyway, confusing them now. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow. Is Andy back tomorrow? No. Oh. Oh, I thought he might be. Anyway. Is it? Uh, is it Saturday tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Right. No, it's Friday tomorrow. Oh, is it? It's not back tomorrow. No, right, it's not back tomorrow. Right, anyway, we don't know what day it is, we don't know what's happening. Um, I'm a bit tired and um, we'll catch you tomorrow. Toodaloo, bye bye! Confusing you a bit then, weren't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bye.